Hello everyone! Welcome to the 14th episode on Anycraft. And guys, so much has happened since we left. It's gonna be hard to explain it all. But do you remember how last time I said that we'd build an Enderman farm? Well, I built it, but I also built another farm. And we've been gathering so many resources for the next big project which we're doing today. It requires the items in this chest. So I'm gonna grab all these, not the two other potions there, potion of visibility that I crafted, and you'll see why I need this stuff soon. But on our way to where we're going, I would like to show you some new things. So the first new thing is some farms down here. All this is regular except this, and another thing I'll show you after. This is our snowman farm. Uh, in our ender chest we have some snow, and you'll see it's again for the project. I don't know, some of you may know what we're doing now. Maybe not. Then down here, we have a coarse root farm. Uh, some of them are broken. I accidentally shot some in the wrong area with the arrow. Because if you didn't know the trick, if you shoot a, uh, one of these, what is this, a coarse bud or something? The top, uh, where it grows, and then it will come off, like a silk touch thing. And then here we have another farm that I literally just built before starting recording because I was crafting up those potions. So, now we move on to the main project. We're going to head over to the end, I'll show you the Enderman farm, and then we'll start with today's big project. We've worked on the nether hub a little bit, as like these pathways and things. You guys already know about some of these, I guess. Um, but essentially it's a lot safer now with all these passageways, and it's gas proof as well. That is a hole um, being made to the nether roof. Uh, I don't think we need the hole right now, but the other farm that I built is up there somewhere, and I'll, sh I'll tell you what that is a bit later. Everything's gonna be later, but you will see. And we're gonna need our boat in a second because ice. But actually, I'm not gonna use my boat for this portion of the ride because I'm so bad at driving a boat forward on ice, it's ridiculous. And it's much faster for me to just hop along like this. It's pretty fast, trust me. The pathway appears very soon. And... End. So yeah, I can't use my boat. Um, but some people can, if you aim it just right. It's very hard though. So we're here in this stronghold. Boy, does this bring back memories. All the stuff. Eating the end dragon. I'm just gonna sleep here, why not? Oh yeah, spook scary. Well, I was uh, dealing with some... With our skeletons in the fortress for the nether warts, I ran into uh, some wither skeletons, obviously. Oh, I just said that. What the? What is this? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, and I had to kill them, and since my sword has looting too, I got one of these heads. Pretty cool. Here's the farm ready. This is the insane admin farm I built. Woo, there it is. Boy, that was pretty cringe. Anyway, so this is the admin farm. It's pretty big, but very efficient. It's how I get levels very fast. I'm just gonna hop down into the water source here. Here we have the payments chest, you know, signs telling you, look at the signs behind you before coming in closer. But I'm the owner, so I can go right on through. And this is a lovely farm design by a YouTube channel called Shulkercraft. I watch a lot of his tutorials for other farms, and they're quite amazing, like seriously. You should go check them out. Anyway. Here are some Endermen. These guys are all one shot. You can easily kill them like that. Endermen drop a lot of XP. This is just dumping out Ender Pearls. Because we get just too many of them. Right, this is the old one from last time. And I'm already level 3, so the XP won't go up super fast. But you guys see. It's a bit loud, sorry. But as you see, I'm getting quite a lot of XP from this. And when you go from level 1, apparently you just farm and you get you up to level 30 in under 60 seconds. So this is a pretty darn efficient farm. Anyway, I didn't come here to AFK this farm. I came here to do the main project. Uh, but yeah, there you guys go. Basically, it's just a bunch of these columns and some carpets the enemy can't jump around. I'm eventually gonna put carpets on this leaf area so they stop teleporting. And then up top, we have a spawning platform with a endermite in the middle so they chase the endermite. And that's basically uh, how this farm works. So let's head over and start the main project. The main project today is really exciting because I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last episode, do you remember how Snow and Ian, or Little Fury 22, charged off into the end cities and got killed a lot? 
I don't know if I showed their deaths, but they died a lot. And obviously, that is not how you do it. If you really want to get a bunch of shulker boxes and stuff, you gotta come prepared. They both have elytra, I think. And they have maybe a few shulker boxes. But today, all that's gonna change. We are about to make a revolutionary shulker farm. That's right, you heard me. A fully functional shulker farm. This actually works, and I don't know how it got discovered, because it's really complicated. Well, not that complicated once you see how it's working, but who would have expected this to work? Super weird method. I have a torch path here leading to the closest end city, which is literally right over there. I'll walk the bridge, and just it's dangerous sometimes. You know, one block bridge. We want to walk this all the time, but it's okay. So. I'm super scared to do this because there's a lot involved and it is a scary process. But over here, the end city. Let's go ahead and see. Oh man. Should be coming into view. Yeah, there's the end ship. Wow, this is just so surreal to be here right now. Oh, right. There we go. These guys aren't that hard to deal with. Uh, but, you know. Still very annoying, so we gotta be careful not to look at them. Just so used to the Enderman farm. And I get silent in battle, that's why I wasn't talking. Always a tense thing. So, the plan is we're going to find a flat area, or make a flat area, and we're going to put the shulker on it. Let's find a big open space here. I'd say maybe over here is good. But it's got to be more than 17 by 17. So, oh, this space looks perfect. Absolutely wonderful. So let's dig out a little bit of a perimeter here. Okay, I'm done this little perimeter. Uh, why can't I pick up the stick? I'm probably gonna glitch out, aren't I? Okay, well nonetheless, we're done. We have this little cobblestone in the middle, uh, slightly bigger than 17 by 17 area. We're gonna get a shulker, bring it here. So I'll see you guys when a bit of progress is made in picking up this stick. This is ridiculous. Ah, finally, we picked up the stick. Okay, that was weird. It was definitely some weird lag spike thing. So here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the middle. So, let's start making the minecart trail. This is just, man, I'm, I'm very scared, guys. You have no idea. We'll keep our water bottle there. Um, yeah. We'll just start making the minecart trail up to where the shulkers live. First, let's actually just locate a shulker. Yeah, I probably should have brought some ender pearls. Actually, I have some in my ender chest. Let's get those out. Ugh, we can't even open an ender chest. We're teleporting now. Oof, this is... I can't even eat. Okay, yeah, I will be back. Ah, finally, we're back in. That was not very fun. So, uh, yeah, we're getting a Wi-Fi upgrade soon, so this shouldn't be too much longer that it does this. But yeah, that's unfortunate to say the least. Okay, so we have our ender pearls now. And then the rack out again. I want to change those out for shovel, probably. This is just so that if we're getting the slow falling effect, we can teleport down and take, well, less damage than falling down. Just keep looking down here. Ah, I actually just got that. Where is the door to this thing? Because I haven't been on one of these where well, I guess you just dig in. <laughs> dig in like eat. I'm no, not eating, but. Okay. So the snuff shulkers here. Maybe we could do a little scouting from the outside. Because they said they left some. 
Snow and uh, Ian. So our minecart comes from over here. Ah, there's there's a shulker right there. Okay, and there. Okay, so we're gonna have to build. Probably, actually, this is lined up. Yeah, guys, this is this is lined up. This is perfect. Okay, scrap these rails. Uh, we're gonna start building in that direction. And I think we're gonna be needing this invisibility potion, but for now I'm not going to just yet. Oh no, he saw us! It's not good. Okay, how do we kill these things? We can't really, can we? Okay, dig down. Oh, phew. Okay, this is gonna be a little safety area. In case we need to go hide some block platforms here so that we don't float away. And I know we do have those ender pearls, but we don't want to waste too many. We only have 12 after all. So yeah, he can see us from pretty far away, it turns out. We might just have to use that invisibility potion sooner than I thought. I'm just so scared to do it because if he sees us before, we're pretty much dead. You know, no, let's continue a little bit. Ah, uh, I'm just, I don't want this to break things. Let's build. Aha! Success! Sort of. It'd be great if we had free cam here. Okay, the shulker's right there. Can we hit these things? We can! Wait, that's amazing. Wait, could we do... Uh, oh, shoot. Could we do... F3 and B? Oh, wow, they actually... It does, so we could hit the hitbox instead. Perfect. This is easy now. You know, I'm probably just gonna end up time lapsing this because we're not making too much progress here, so. This is weird. Oh, did it work? Guys, we may have just found it. it it's on the block. This is perfect. Guys, you have no idea my heart is beating a million miles an hour. This could be the one. The time we f eventually made a working shelf. Oh, okay, okay. Calm down. Think. Think before you act. I'll throw out some of these junk blocks. Don't need that anymore. 
One, two, three, four. I have enough. I need to get rid of this angry enderman wherever he is. Perfect. Okay. Finally. No, there's just another one. There's two? Okay, that's it. That's gotta be it. That is literally all of them. Okay. Commencing project. No, wait. First, we have to get out of the materials. We definitely should have built this first. Yeah, that was a mistake. We should have built the platform first, like this. Well, it's okay. Just gotta build a holding cell for him first then. Eight minutes to build stuff? Mm. Not really, that's not really enough, is it? So we're gonna have to build a platform around him without him seeing us. Not too much so. Dude, I can't even let this guy out of here. Okay. He is secured in this box. The plan is now we're going to build a large platform around him. He's just tall enough for us. Like this. And there's gonna be some mossy couple some bricks on top. That okay, so one, two. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Good thing we didn't do the armor thing yet. Okay, anyway. Continue. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got one more. Eight. And the other side, we also need to do eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the? So weird. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need to go that on the other side too. Last few blocks here. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, 
what this is going to do is that when the shulkers hit us, we're not going to be able to fly away. And since this is on the bottom layer of the block, and see if I place a block, places above it, so the shulkers won't actually be able to uh, teleport on top of this. They'll only be able to teleport on the ceiling and on the floor of this, and most likely the floor I've never even seen when teleport on the ceiling. And it's pretty manual farm, we're just gonna run around killing them, and the shulker duplicator is going to be in the middle here. And this definitely is going to be problematic, because I don't have a name tag. And I don't remember exactly how I build one of these. I'm pretty sure I do though. So I'm just gonna get the materials now. May I watch a tutorial or something? There's no good tutorials in this though. So that's literally all there is for the materials. <coughs> Pretty small thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to go watch something and build at the same time. Because yeah, I'm gonna need some of this. So I'll be back when I remember how to build this thing. Okay guys, so I looked at a decent tutorial thing, and I think I may have built the ceiling one too high, but maybe not, we'll see about that. I'm just gonna build up some of the farm. Don't wanna release this guy just yet. I gotta build something first. I'm just digging out a little area <coughs> where I can start building. First thing we're gonna need is those two walls. Here they are. So one, two. And then we're going to need a snowman down here. Putting glass around. Just like that. Okay. And put a roof on it after. Now I just need this. Um, hold on. The snowman stuff. One. Two. Snowman. Okay, this is looking good. Glass over here. Don't need glass in here though. And then I need a trap door that is facing like that. Good, good. And another trap door. Uh, gonna be uh, over here but it's a bit too close to the shulker for my liking really. I could do it fast I could do it fast Okay, that's good. My farm is almost ready already. I found this glass here. Okay, and then behind the shulker, I need to add two blocks of space where a shulker bullet could go. And this. Okay, alright, second block here. Should be everything for this farm actually. Yeah, believe it or not, that is literally everything to do this farm. So we're just gonna fill in the rest of it now. And then we should be done. It's just crazy to think that we'd be done this early. this and then here 
glass as well. And boom, guys, this is literally it. Okay, let me explain how this works now. So the farm works where when this fl uh, trap door is flipped open, the shulker, shulker will try to shoot uh, the snow goblin, but then its shulker shell uh, can't get through these first, so it tries to go around. And there's this two block gap here that it can go behind. Then it ends up looping around hitting itself, and if it hits itself while it's open, it will duplicate. And so I'm really hoping the first one duplicates, and then we could trap that and keep the farm alive. So here we go. First test. Snowman gets an aggro. Let's see. Come on. Yes! We could, um, gotta trap this one. I'm just gonna do that for now. That's all I'm gonna do. So we absolutely cannot afford to let this farm die out yet. Actually, no, we'll put, we'll put actual cobs on here. Although I said they wouldn't teleport to the ceiling, but I guess they do. So, this is really exciting, guys. Like, do you know what this means? We have infinite shulkers now, and we can sell them in, at a shop or something, and people will actually buy it. Our first really, really successful shop. Let's get this going again. Duplicate another. Oh no. That's what I was worried about. If the shulker gets too low, it will teleport away. And that is something we don't want. This is actually really not good here. Uh, how do we fix this? Well, there's a variety of ways to fix it. Number one is we would take a minecart and rails over from this thing and load it into the shulker's uh, farm. Teleport again. Teleport over there, eh? Okay, we'll be smarter about this this time. Okay, they are actually here. This is a really exciting moment. Place those buttons so they can't spawn over there. I don't know how much these splash potions heal, so I'm gonna give it all of them. Every last bit. And then, uh, We'll flip down the trap door and hope for the best. Not to need a free spot for the glass. Oh shoot. I think this part through. No. Not good. Not good. Come on, let's do it. Nope, nope. Oh, right, there's, there's a block there. Could I fix that? <gasps> it worked! A little bit, maybe. Alright, guys, I think that's just going to have to be it. I might loot this end city over time. But we definitely need to find a better farm design because this just isn't working. I'm gonna tackle this project another time because yeah, this is just too frustrating. All of them are escaping. It's not working great. I think I definitely built the holding chamber too close to this actual farm itself because all of them are getting aggro at the snow golem 
and that's causing the farm to break because they just kill themselves in there. So yeah, I'll just tackle this another time. They're still in there. Well, all but one which we didn't capture. And there's that guy in there, so we'll just tackle it another time. For now I'm just gonna go loot that end city. And yeah, I guess we'll do something else in this episode as well, but uh, that's going to be the main project for today. Hey, at least we got five filter shells, and I'll update you how much we got once we loot that. Alright guys, so I just finished the end bust. It was uh, actually pretty successful. I left the two shulkers that are down there. Unfortunately, two of the ones in the containment chamber, uh, the two to the side, uh, escaped somehow. I think they kept hurting themselves when they teleported away. We don't have those anymore, but that's okay. We still have those two. Should be good enough to make another farm in the future. But yeah, maybe I won't bother with these shulker things in the next season and stuff because it's really annoying. And unless I'm going all in and building a huge farm, I don't even know if it's worth it. So, yeah. Our final total of shells is 28. 28 shells. Uh, let's calculate here. That makes 14 boxes. So that's amazing. We'll be able to give ourselves some uh shulker boxes and we'll even sell some at a shop probably that'll be good and then we could try the shulker duplicator thing maybe again on my own but not in a video because it's just boring just a big time left i guess i don't know anyway let's put away this stuff I'll take back this my netherite helmet broke which sucks still has some leftover diamond stuff uh but yeah it went successful, in my opinion. So let's head over to my base, but on the way, I'll show you the other farm that I was talking about. This is a hoglin farm. Basically, um, I'm not going to be good at explaining this to me. Okay, let's build up a little bit first, because we don't have free cam to look around. So what happens? Uh, we are in a crimson forest biome right now. So hoglins will spawn on this platform. Nothing else, because it's lit up. They will be scared of the fungus, those fungus and, uh, or fungi, and they'll run towards this, where they think they can get down because these, uh, these slabs are here, so they think they can just hop down, and then the trap doors prevent them from knowing that there's a hole there, they fall into the lava, and they get cooked, and so that's where I got that pork, uh, cooked pork chop you saw. I'm gonna do a little AFK session here now to get some more, because I just ran out. It's barely even been two minutes in real life, or real time. So, uh, yeah, let's see what two minutes of this farm running is like. It's probably not going to be a crazy amount. You have to get it going for a while, but you should have spawned maybe a few. Aha! 13 cooked pork chop. And this chest, 15. Look at that. Just like that, we just got 28 cooked pork chop. And I'm going to leave these leather in there just because we don't need it yet. And now, let's head back home. Alright, we're back at our portal, and I am super duper excited to craft up all these shelter boxes. It's gonna feel so surreal. I've only gotten this far in the game one other time, in one other server, because I'm not really invested in that sort of thing. Unless there's a real reason to keep doing this sort of thing, then I wouldn't really keep I don't know, playing world. I just do redstone testing and things because it's fun. Uh, but yeah, super excited to craft all this stuff up. I'm just gonna start my inventory and I'll see you at the crafting table menu. And, here we go, I believe. Isn't it just, yeah, it's half and half, right? Oh! Oh, that feels so good, guys. That feels amazing. Okay, um, right. <laughs> this is just, like, for instance, guys, we could fit all this stuff in only one shulker box and then put it in here and it would take up a single slot. Isn't that just wild? Dude, man, I love shulker boxes. Okay, um, let's just store them in here for now. Hopefully no one steals them. So 14, yeah, that's a number. If I see less in here, anytime. Uh, then I'll know that someone stole it. And we'll go down to our vault. Which, I still haven't changed the password. Man, am I slow? Eh. Ugh. Are you serious? 